Hey, what is up, YouTube? I'm Sean Scully, and welcome back to TikTok Around the Clock. I have a really exciting show for you today. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys my top five jokes on TikTok, and on top of that, I'm gonna show you guys some iPhone tips that you probably didn't know about. At number five, we have a video by the one and only Leslie Jordan. Check it out. One time, Mama and them, that's what we say in the South to include everybody. Mama and them. My mother and my twin sisters were driving to Florida and they passed a town. Mother said, oh, isn't that sweet? Kiss me. Sweet name for a town. Um, my sister said, it's an Indian name, Mother. It's Kissimmee. Mother said, no, I think it's Kissimmee. Well, they stopped for lunch, and Mama asked the girl, said, where are we? How do we pronounce it? And that girl said, Burger King. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I don't think I made that up. You can't make this shit up. I really like Leslie Jordan. Take a guess how tall he is. 4'11". Isn't that crazy? But I honestly think that adds to his comedy, you know? Like, not a lot of people are that short, and it's like, that adds and makes him really unique, you know? Now, on to some iPhone tips. Now, if you're like me and you mess up, you feel like you have to delete the whole thing, right? Well, with this trick, you won't have to. So, instead of having to tap somewhere, you can actually just hold down the space bar and move back on your finger like that. You can actually just delete it. You don't have to click over here and try to get the right place. Just hold down the space and you can move it anywhere you want. Makes it super easy. It's actually really helpful. At number four, we have a video that's gonna make you wanna start doing the dishes a little bit more. Check it out. So this guy gets a motorcycle with authentic leather seats and the dealer tells him, listen, dude, the rain will ruin this. So get it under something if it starts raining and if you can't, your best bet is to put Vaseline on the seats because it'll make it waterproof. And he says, all right. So he goes to his girlfriend's house for dinner that night and before she goes inside, she tells him, listen, you know, it's your first time meeting my parents. We have a rule here. First one to speak at the dinner table has to do the dishes and he doesn't think anything of it till he walks inside and looks at the kitchen sink. It's a mile high of dishes after three months. No one's done it because no one's spoken at the table and the stench is awful. So during dinner, he concocts a plan to get someone to talk and he starts doing all this crazy stuff, hoping someone will make it sound, nothing happens. Eventually, he grabs his girlfriend, flips her up onto the table and just starts going to town, right? The parents look all flustered, they don't know what to do, but they're not gonna speak to do the dishes. So after a minute of that, he goes over to the mom and puts her on the table and starts going to town on her and the dad is just staring daggers at this guy, wanting to kill him. And it's just at that moment when he looks outside and sees it starting to rain. His motorcycle is out there in the rain, so he grabs Vaseline from his back pocket and the dad stands up and goes, fine, I'll do the dishes. So moral of the story, always have Vaseline on you. You never know when you're gonna need it. <laughs> oh my God, I cracked myself up. But back to some more iPhone tips. So this helps you, especially if you have a big phone. Are you ever multitasking and you kind of just want to text on like one hand, but the screen is just too big? Well, you can. It's a little hard with the bigger screen, so I want to do this but I want to make it a little smaller, you know? So you either hold the emoji symbol or the globe, whichever one you have. This little keyboard comes up with the arrow pointing to the left, tap it, and it moves the whole thing over for you. So now it's easier to type with one hand. At number three, we have a video that's gonna make you see things a little differently. Check it out. All right, dad, let me hear a joke. You want a joke? All right, here's a joke. It's actually true, but joke. Did you know when you were born, you were born without eyelids? No, that's not true. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were born without eyelids. You know what we had to do? What? When you were circumcised, we had to take your, <laughs> you, we had to take your foreskin and the doctors <laughs> sewed them to your eyes. <laughs> that's why you're your little cockeyed. <laughs> Daddy! So that's where eyelids come from. No, I'm just playing. But I love how he flipped it on his son so fast. I thought that was so witty and quick. This makes deleting a text super easy and fast. You still have a lot of typed out. I don't want to hold down my X button and just delete the whole thing. All I need to do is shake my phone like this. Little notification pops up. Click undo and it deletes the entire text. It makes doing this so much simpler and a lot faster. At number two, we have a video by Stewie Z. Check it out. 
what did one saggy boob say to the other saggy boob? You need a lift? <laughs> if we don't get some support soon, people are gonna think we're nuts. <laughs> I love that he can tell that joke to his grandmother. And I especially love her quick, witty response to it. But most of all, I love her laugh at the end of the video. It just makes it. Now this little iPhone tip is gonna make deleting tabs a lot faster. So basically you wanna delete tabs, you gotta do one at a time, but doing it this way will make it a lot faster. Take three fingers and just swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up. And that way it'll be a lot faster and you won't waste time. At number one, we have a video that's gonna leave you gagging. Check it out. Mom. I'm fixing chicken tomorrow. What did Cinderella say when she got to the ball? <laughs> that has to be one of my favorite jokes right now. Like that is so my humor. I love tongue in cheek jokes. Those are my top five jokes on TikTok. Thank you so much for tuning into this week's episode, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and make sure to comment below anything you'd like to see or any tutorials. Also, remember to turn on your push notifications so you know when we posted a video. This week's shout out is gonna to be to JT Layborn. Question, why is it that we encourage a certain kind of behavior from other people, like self-love? Be you, do you, love you, regardless of what anybody else is gonna think or say, because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, right? Own your beauty, own your flaws, we're all perfectly imperfect. But then when we find ourselves in a situation where we need it to apply to us, it's like we forget that philosophy. For those of you who don't know JT, JT recently had open heart surgery and he's really, really big on TikTok. And he's passed to be one of the most selfless people that I know on there. So JT, we just wanna let you know we care about you and that we hope you have a very speedy recovery. And that just goes into this week's advice. This week's advice is gonna to be to do good and you receive good. Be there for other people and don't expect anything in return. Remember guys, every day's a blessing. Thank you. So as you guys know, I am still currently trying to get verified on TikTok. So this is my latest post. Check it out. No, no, no. What are you doing now? Look, I just wanted to stop by and say that I'm sorry for attacking you the other day. That was very uncalled for. Okay, but why are you dressed like that? Oh, I just figured, you know, you can help me get verified and I can help you with other things. So let me get this straight. You want me to help you get verified in exchange for sexual favors? Well, call me Harvey Weinstein, shut the door.